Hello everyone, welcome back to the chronicles of my Red Sea Max Saltwater Reef Aquarium. I thought today we would do a little update since we haven't done one in a while. I wonder why? If you guys remember, I have five different fish. I have two clownfish, two pajama cardinals, and one sailfin tang. But something happened to the sailfin tang. Oh no. It decided that it did not want to live in my aquarium anymore. What I mean by that is he intentionally killed himself. Coral are considered an animal. They're all alive and pretty much all coral actually sting. If you touched coral with your bare hands, you usually wouldn't get stung just because the layer of uh, skin on your fingers are pretty thick. So what does that have to do with the fish? Well, my sailfin tang decided that he wanted to swim into the bubble coral. <laughs> my bubble coral is actually one of the corals that swings super well in the aquarium. It looks so weird. It looks kind of like alien spawn to me. I really like it. We see you. And this fish wants to have all the attention. He's like hanging out in the bubble coral, which I thought that they get stung by those. And look, he's just like, ah, oh, it's so bubbly. Another thing to know about coral is um, how they eat. The way that they catch food and feed themselves is through their tentacles. So when they touch something, they grab on and it's kind of like a sticky hand. The bubble coral, look, the tentacles are grabbing onto him and they slowly bring it to their mouth. And that's what happened with the sailfin tang. The bubble coral's eating my fish. Over just like a few minutes, the coral opened its mouth so wide, the fish wasn't able to swim out. I'm watching it and the bubble coral is for sure eating the fish. If you can notice, like the tentacles got really short and they're kind of like stubby. It's hard to see because this guy's in the way but it is definitely like closing up around the fishy. I guess it's a meal for the bubble coral. That bubble coral is just getting bigger and bigger. Oh, all the colors disappearing from the fish. Do you see that? Look, all of the color just disappeared. Remember he was like all striped? The stripes are like bleaching out. <gasps> I think he died. I'm sure some people will ask me, why didn't you try to save the sailfin tang? So that morning, I did notice that the sailfin tang was not doing well. I think the sailfin tang is on his way out. I fed the tank and look, he's, see the stripes there? He's hiding in the cave. Even when I fed the tank, he did not go for the food. The day before, he was swimming fine. He looked fine. All of a sudden that morning, I was like, oh no, what happened? I was kind of confused because he was such a healthy fish. Usually healthy fish will be fine with coral. Like even if they get stung by the coral, they can like avoid it and swim away. If the fish is like on their last leg or fin, they might not have the strength and they're basically going to die anyway. Then he just swam into the bubble coral and was like, bubble coral, take me away. Um, <laughs> and I was just like, okay, that's your wish. After like 30 minutes of watching the bubble coral try to eat the fish, it looks like the bubble coral's like, I, don't, I can't eat this, I don't want this. Most coral, yeah, eat like little tiny shrimp. In the end, I used like a turkey baster kind of thing and I kind of just like squirted it at the bubble coral the bubble coral basically spit out the fish and I took him out of the aquarium. You don't want to leave fish inside of the aquarium to decompose just because the water quality in the tank would just like totally go downhill and we had to say goodbye to the fish. So long sailfin tang, you are such a beautiful fish. I guess it's time for us to start the vlog. Gatsby, are you such a cuddly corgi now? So Gatsby used to not be that cuddly when I was younger, but he grew into it. Oh, thank you. Ah. 
You guys, it finally came in the mail. I got Gatsby a rug for this hallway. It's really bad to have dogs run on something that's hard and slippery where they don't have any traction um, and they can get injured a lot easier. And that could have been one of the reasons why Gatsby's hip was getting bad. I wasn't having him run on this, but he, of course he would run and slide. So instead I thought I would finally just get him a rug for over here so that it would help in case he ran. So we got the super long rug here. Ta-da! What do you think? Is that easy to run on? This one, the whole thing is like rubber on the bottom, so it shouldn't slide very much. It's also pretty heavy. So they said that it takes a few days for it to perfectly flatten out. Some people might be like, oh, why don't you get a wider rug? They don't sell that many carpets that are this long. This is already 16 feet. Also, I think Gatsby prefers to run on this. So even if the ball was on this, like on the slippery part, he prefers to run on the grippy thing because it's a lot easier to run on. But it looks pretty good. So now we got a rug. Ta-da! Gatsby, this rug is just for you. <laughs> so in the last vlog, I revealed to you guys the calendar project that we've been working on as well as Koki, the photographer from Japan that I flew over here to do our shoot. I showed you guys a little bit of footage of him trying some American food. Today I thought I would show you guys some behind the scenes look at the actual photo shoot as well as some more Koki Experiences America. Please enjoy and we'll see you guys right after. We got everything all packed and ready to go. We're going to San Francisco today, Gatsby, for our photo shoot. The first day. One of the steepest hills in San Francisco. Take a look at this view down this hill though. Look at that. Right. We did it! We completed this a bit easier than I thought. I, me too! I was, I was like, really worried for this one. We have Brandon here. <laughs> He's helping, watching for the cars and Gatsby. We did it pretty safely too. I'm taking pictures of Koki taking pictures. He's like, oh, American cars. We're going back into Cheesecake Factory again. Koki liked it. He was like, ew, look, shrimp and steak? Who does that? <laughs> That's not a thing in Japan, I guess. There he goes. Is it good? He's gonna get an Oreo Dream Extreme Cheesecake. It's a chocolate cake. Or with Oreos inside. Chocolate cheese. With a giant Oreo there. Oh. A thousand six hundred calories. And people in my story said, "Is it for the one slice?" I'm like, "Yeah." <laughs> and they're like, "Get it." I'm like, "No." <laughs> You're so nice. So Gatsby's feeling better, but we're still not ready to take him to the park. So instead, it's time for us to exercise indoors. So today I thought I would share with you guys a sneak peek into one of the new merchandise that I've been working on for our November 1st launch. Ta-da! So I know a lot of people have been requesting that I do another jigsaw puzzle. I will be releasing a new one. Why not do one with a smiling happy corgi on it? I'll show you which puzzle this one is. Ta-da! Oh, it looks so good! This is from our 2021 calendar picture. It looks so good when it's blown up this large. Gatsby looks so good. I think this should be a really fun puzzle just because there's so much color separation. It's a thousand pieces. It's gonna be so fun. Make sure that you don't spill any of the pieces on the ground. <laughs> and begin! So the first thing we do, of course, is separate all, all the pieces. It's important to uh, separate out the edge pieces and the different colors. I know a lot of you guys were really enjoying the other puzzles and some people were like requesting me to um, make more puzzles. So that's why I was like, okay. I wasn't really planning on doing another puzzle, but I was like, okay, well, you don't have to ask me too many times because I love doing puzzles. 
I finished sorting everything. It took me basically 35 minutes to do. Here it is, the puzzle. I'm gonna work on doing the frame, which should be really easy to do. There's so many different colors along the edge, so it should be pretty easy to figure out. Okay, we finished. About an hour and five minutes, the entire frame was done. This part over here was just basically trying each piece. I'm gonna take a break from the puzzle. I think that's like the best way to do it. But of course, I'll keep you guys updated on our progress. Looks like Gatsby's enjoying his carpet. Okay, I wanted to do an experiment today. Um, when I was doing the photo shoot with Koki, he was talking about how great the iPhone cameras are. I just got the iPhone 13, and I thought I would test you guys to see if you can tell the difference between the different cameras, and if the picture quality is better on one of them versus the other. In this next segment, I'm gonna have you guess which camera I'm filming on. Am I using my small Canon camera? My large Canon camera? Or am I using my iPhone 13? So here is camera number one. I wonder which camera this is. Okay, we're gonna move on to camera number two. Which camera is this? The big camera, the small camera, or the iPhone? Hmm, I wonder. Okay, finally moving on to camera number three. Which camera is this one? Which one do you think has the best picture quality and which one has the worst picture quality? There we have it. Let me know in the comments below. I wanna see if you guys can tell especially between the small camera and the iPhone. But we'll see from the comments below. It's time to hit the gym. Today we're gonna hit some quads. I've been making some pretty good leg games here. See you guys at the gym. Now we are gonna pick up our ingredients for our dinner and I thought today we would make some dessert as well. <gasps> Ooh. Okay, let's go. We gotta get the pasta. Zita cut number 118. So much tuna selection. Let's gonna get this one. We'll see what I make. What am I making? Hello. It's like, oh, I smell. I've just been hanging out on the new rug. Here you go. I mentioned in the last vlog, he is down to 30 pounds, which is good. Okay, so for dessert today, we are gonna be making a Spanish cheesecake. Now, apparently it's very, very easy to make. It's not like American cheesecake. All it requires is that everything is room temperature. Two pounds of cream cheese. We're gonna do it in a spring form pan. By the way, both our recipes today are from Give Me Some Oven. I am such a fan of that website. Basically, you make two of these and crisscross it. I did have cheesecake somewhat recently because we went to Cheesecake Factory Koki. When he ate that Oreo cheesecake, he was only able to eat like a sliver before he was like so full. He's like, this is multiple days worth of cheesecake. I don't like baking that much because it makes me realize how bad everything is for you. <laughs> That's a lot of sugar. Okay, and we add five room temperature eggs, but one at a time. I think that the Spanish cheesecake is more eggy than the American one. One and a quarter cups of room temperature heavy whipping cream, vanilla extract, and sea salt. We're gonna sift a quarter cup of flour, just like a little bit over the top. Silky smooth. That was pretty easy. We have been preheating the oven at 400 degrees. We're gonna stick it in for 50 to 60 minutes. Okay, now that we are done with the dessert for now, we are gonna work on our dinner. And today we are gonna make, um, I don't remember the name. It is called Creamy Tuna Mushroom Pasta. I am uh, cautiously optimistic on this. One pound of Baby Bella mushrooms. I'm gonna wash them and we're gonna slice them. Ta-da! Okay, next we are going to do two tablespoons of butter. Toss the mushrooms in the butter. So then we're gonna just Cook it for a total of six minutes. We're gonna do our garlic. We're gonna do five cloves. Smells mushroomy. Okay, so this water is boiling now, so we're gonna add lots of salt. We got our rosemary. 
Okay, right, garlic needs to be squashed. Crushed red pepper flakes. We saute for two minutes. Is that still lemon? So I'm gonna do that right now. Lemon juice. Some freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Heavy whipping cream. We're gonna add a quarter cup of the pasta water here. Gatsby's like, where's my food? Baby spinach. I don't tend to eat canned tuna. I like tuna, but I like it like in sashimi and stuff. And then we add our pasta. I don't think that it's gonna all fit inside of this. Ta-da! It's time for me to try it out. Okay. The sauce is really, really good. A lot of the recipes on Gimme Some Oven is like really focused on lemon and garlic, which I love, so I like it. Mushrooms are like, of course, relatively mild, and I think the tuna is pretty mild too. Out of 10, I would give this recipe about an eight. It tastes like home cooking. Well, this looks like those cheese tarts that they have at home. I think that's what it is, actually. <laughs> a cheese wow. tart. Yeah, tarta de queso. Oh my gosh. I just realized that right now. Well, let's just cool down before we try it. I spent another hour working on the puzzle. I got some of the balloons in here. I did all the blue. I got this much done of Gatsby's face. Also, this time the poster is the same exact size as <laughs> the puzzle. So you can literally hold these pieces up and find exactly where it fits. Like this one goes like probably right there, right? And now I'm gonna check on the cake. Ta-da! Check it out, look at that. <gasps> See salt flakes that you're supposed to put on top? It looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's definitely closer, I would say, to American cheesecake than like a Japanese cheesecake. It's so buttery. It's kind of like burnt sugar on the outside, so kind of like a creme brulee. Oh, it's so good. But I know what went into this, so it makes me feel not very good to eat it. But oh my gosh, it's so good. I would for sure give this one a 10 out of 10. Oh, look at that sploot. <laughs> He's like, excuse me, I have a face. <laughs> Time to say goodnight. Hopefully nothing's wrong with the aquarium. I'll continue to keep you guys updated on that if you guys are interested. We've been so busy working on everything. If you want to get something, go to corgionfleet.com. We still have the doggy bandanas. Thank you so much, Gatsby. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and we'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure to give this video a like. It really does help. Good night. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. Hello everybody! Welcome back to the cutest corgi show on the internet! Today I thought we would try another